Well, it's our top story tonight. The Smith County District Attorney announcing five of his investigators will assist the Joint Emergency Operations Center to help flatten the curve of COVID-19. As more cases continue to pour in, additional help is needed for contact tracing efforts. CBS 19's Chloe Bradford spoke with District Attorney Jacob Putman about what contact tracing is and how this practice will be implemented. It's an interesting time to be uh, working in Smith County. In addition to the cases the district attorney's office prosecutes, five out of the seven investigators for Smith County will volunteer to help the public health district screen those who may be at risk for contracting COVID-19. So we can do a lot of that over the phone uh, and through electronic communication, but we hope to do most of it over the phone. Investigators will be reaching out to individuals who may have been in contact with someone who has or has had COVID-19. If so, the local health authority will be notified. Officials will then determine if the person should seek medical treatment or self-quarantine. So if you've tested positive, we try to backtrace who you've had contact with. The Attorney General's office isn't the only agency helping to combat the spread of the coronavirus. Smith County Judge Nathaniel Moran issued a two-week stay-at-home order, and the city of Tyler has extended modified facility operations until April 17th. This is just extra work that we're taking on uh, because it's necessary, and even though they have plenty to do, we're, we're going to ask them to do a little bit more to make sure Smith County citizens are safe. And Putman is hoping the pandemic will end soon, but whatever comes next, he wants to reassure the safety of everyone is most important. So we want to put as many resources as we can uh, to stopping it and making sure people are safe so it ends as soon as possible. We've got you covered, Smith County. Chloe Bradford, CBS 19. Tonight we're learning.